В Организации Объединенных Наций появилась новая должность, ответственная за первый контакт с внеземными цивилизациями. В ООН уверена, что благодаря последним исследованиям встреча с инопланетянами становится более реальной, к ней стоит подготовиться заранее. Светлану периодически забирают на НЛО и уносят в дальний космос. Обычно это происходит ночью через окно или балкон. Над кварталом зависает летающая тарелка. С неба ударяет яркий белый луч, и женщина по нему попадает внутрь корабля. Так начинается путешествие по Вселенной. Бездушные существа проводят опыты на людях. Они забирают кровь, костный мозг и материал для размножения у женщин и мужчин. Вот я у них спрашивала, не могут ли они это обезболивать. А они сказали, что э, в состоянии стресса выделяются какие-то э, эндорфины, которые им нужны. Поэтому они это делают сознательно. Причем это очень болезненно, я на себе это испытала. Чрезвычайно болезненно. Причем они какие-то странные такие, они считают, что если они стирают вот этот эпизод из памяти, то якобы ущерб организму не наносится. In 1991, Jesse had the foreign object removed from his leg. There it is. This is actual footage of that procedure. This is good half and foreign. This is the object that was in my leg. And unfortunately, during the initial test that was done on it, it was broken into two pieces. But that allowed us to look at the inside. Some have dismissed the object as simply a shard of glass. But when it was analyzed at Southwest Research Institute, a materials analysis facility in Texas, the conclusions suggested a greater mystery. According to the lab's report, the object revealed a very remarkable composition and exhibited unique surface characteristics that cannot be explained and that the questions outnumber the answers. Yeah. Okay, there it is. 
looks to me like a like a large tic tac um, or pill under your skin. What exactly um, is it made of? Is that... I've no idea. I've no idea what it's from. It's hard. It gives readings of scanners on you know, tills and stuff like that. Frequency. Yeah. And also on oh, tills. Yeah. You know the the, the laser scanners. What, what you come up? With? How, no, it how just it, it just no. It, <laughs> it just sends them a little bit strange, and they they send up sort of like ring up the wrong prices on things for the people. Never ever wanted to take that out. Well, my brother has always said to me that he'd like to take it out with a knife. Can I touch it? Yeah, you touch it. Yeah. Well, okay. It's a little bit like a Conley Royal capsule. Yeah. Well, the thing it changes it's, it's, it's actually in a position where I've read up over the past years where these things are implanted. They're either done in the neck, the forearms, and um, sort of like in the lower, up, up the nose. But it's not unusual to have these things on the forearms. And you've had that since you were 13 years yeah. old? Yeah. I've had further experiences after that with UFOs. Um, you know, in the sort of like um, several experiences later on and before. That's the only time that I ever lost any time. Um, You're not frightened. So. No, I mean, I, I know you see on a lot of the, the programs where people have regression um, because they're having nightmares, they can't sleep, they remember um, what we're told. As far as I'm concerned, whatever happened was not bad. So I don't particularly want, I mean, it would be nice to find out. But it's not to a point where I think I'm losing my sanity because, you know, I don't know what went on. Um, I'd rather keep the, whatever it is and uh, basically say that I had some contact with something that was completely different. So you're a total and utter believer. There's nothing that can sway your mind from the belief that we are not alone. There are other beings in the universe. I'm a, I'm a believer that there is something out there. I'm not sure how they get here. Something, and then so many people have these experiences. Um, there's got to be something to it. So, you know, it's, it's something that we have to accept. You know, something is going on, but, you know, we can't give, the scientists can't give us the actual answer. So, everybody, everybody's opinion.